Hey dollies, today I'm deciding to switch it up and add some color to my channel so I created this purple halo eye for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. So I'm going to start off by just priming my lids with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and buffing that out with a buffing brush, making sure I get a nice thin smooth layer over the whole eyelid. Then I'm going to go in with this white shade and just set the whole lid so that it's not tacky and our shadows go on smoothly. And now I'm grabbing this peachy shade and I'm going to put that in the crease as my transition shade. And here I remember I actually wanted to use tape for this look just to make it a little bit more sharp and I'm just taking it onto my hand first to get most of the tackiness off and then placing it along the edge lining it up with the tail of my brow and here I'm making sure that they're both at an even angle so that we don't look crazy and now I'm going back with that first transition shade and just building that color up then I'm going to go to that darker reddish peach shade that's right below it. Then I'm putting that color in the outer V and bringing it into the crease. I like to focus most of the darker shadows right along where we put that tape so that when we take the tape off, it'll kind of help wing it out. So once I've built that color up, I'm going to cut the crease with that same concealer, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Here I ended up just doing a half cut crease because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do but later on I end up going in with some more concealer and bringing it all the way to the tape. Now I'm going into that purple shade and on a flat synthetic shader brush or concealer brush I think I'm just going to place that on the outer V and here you can see that the color wasn't sticking as well without the concealer so I brought the concealer all the way out to the tape and I'm gonna put that purple shade on top of that concealer. See, now it really shows up true to color. And I just switched to my favorite dome brush for packing on shades in the outer corner. And I'm gonna just apply that right up against where I put the tape. Also putting it into my inner corner as well because I'm gonna do a halo eye. And the concealer makes such a huge difference as you guys saw on how this color shows up. See, without the concealer, you could hardly see it and it was really patchy looking. So definitely, if you're working with bright colors like this, I would definitely recommend going in with a concealer. And for the center of the lid, I'm just going to grab my Morphe palette and grab that gold color. And here I am just flipping you guys off. <laughs> It's like a gold color, but it reflects kind of like a pinkish color, so I thought it would go with the crease color really well. And I switched to a brush instead, and I sprayed it with some setting spray just to get a little bit more color payoff. And I'm going back, and I'm just darkening up that purple. And grabbing that same purple on a smaller flat brush, I'm just going to run it along the crease to clean it up. And I also wanted to darken up the crease where the purple meets the red so it's more of like a gradient I go back in with like a red color later you'll see and now I'm just doing a winged liner oh my god if you're having trouble with winged liner do this tape method and it is such a lifesaver now here I am just checking myself out making sure it looks good I'm going in with uh, Urban Decay glitter liner it's the Midnight Cowboy and I'm just placing that on the center of the lid and going into my Modern Renaissance palette, I'm going into Red Ochre and I'm just placing that right in the crease where that purple meets the transition shades just so that it blended a little bit more smoothly and it wasn't just such a harsh line. I also wanted to add a little bit more depth into the crease as well. And I'm going back with that purple just to blend it out with the Red Ochre color. And going back over everything with a blending brush just to make sure that there aren't any harsh lines. And now finally done with the upper lids, we're going to move on to the face. And I'm just priming my face with the Smashbox Original Primer. And I'm using my Lancome Foundation Stick in uh, 410 Bisque. Sorry the color's a little bit off. When I move further and closer to the camera, it'll be like a different color. <laughs> 
So now I'm just highlighting and concealing with my Sephora Bright Future. And I'm also going to bring that concealer right underneath the wing. And I just go over that with a brush to blend it out because it's such a small area that I didn't want to go in with my beauty blender and mess it up. And setting my eyes with my Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. Then for contour, you know, I'm using my favorite Fenty Beauty Matchsticks. This is my current favorite. Just blending that all out with a flat top kabuki brush. And I switch to a smaller buffing brush when I get to the nose contour. Going in with my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, I'm just going to put that everywhere I put the contour, except for on the cheeks, I put it a little higher up. And for blush, I'm going with my Tarte Party Blush. And moving on to the lower lash line, I'm going to take that second uh, crease color that we use, that darker red, and I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line. I also bring it under the wing just to get that overall smoky look. And I'm going in with that same purple on a smaller detailing brush and I'm just going to run that right along the lash line. I keep it nice and close to the lash line though, I don't smoke it out as far as I did like the reddish color. Then I'm taking this nude eyeliner from Rimmel and I'm just going to line the waterline to help open up the eyes. And going in with mascara, this is the L'Oreal telescopic carbon black mascara, my favorite mascara ever. Just loading up the bottom lashes so that it will balance out the top lashes. And I'm just extending the tail of my brow. Sometimes depending on my look, I have to extend the tail of my brow so that it matches the eye and the wing. And I'm going back with that Urban Decay glitter liner and I'm putting that right in the inner corner and in the center of the lower lash line just to match the top. And lastly for lips, I'm just going in with this MAC Viva Glam Nude Lipstick. And that is it for the look, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.